it's a picture of Kobe like this. And it's like when I when I need some rest, I put my phone to LeBron mode. No. Hey, welcome to another MVP podcast. My name is Dylan. Today we're talking about Austin Reeves hating LeBron's game. Check it out. Did you not I don't want to say idolize, but like certainly Le- LeBron was an icon. He was, I think, five years old when you made where when you were five years old when he made his NBA mm-hmm. de- debut. And I don't know who your favorite player is growing up. I was a huge Kobe fan. You so, were a Kobe fan. Yeah, so going so, to the Lakers was Yeah, yeah that's that I was mean that was my favorite team growing yeah. up. Uh I I mean crazy that your agents had the bucks as the number one best fit (laughs) they was just doing their job but i i mean it's it's out there publicly i wasn't a huge brown fan just because i was a kobe fan like i oh didn't you tweet about something there you go yeah you had a hater tweet or something you brought that up you shouldn't have said no i mean i've already i've already i don't remember the the exact exact element in the room uh the espn uh, the ig tried to try to snitch on you you had had to talk about it uh, we were in New Orleans, and I didn't play. I think he played, but he might not have. And I pull up my phone right after the game, and it's first thing I see Sports Center, and it's a picture of Kobe like this. And it's like when I when I need some rest, I put my phone to Reeves. LeBron mode. I was like, shh. <laughs> It's like there's one or two things I could do. I could shut up and hope you don't see it, or I could call him over here and be like, "Look, man." And I did. Yeah, I was like, "Bro, come here." And he was like, "What's up?" And he walks over there. It's like, I was a Kobe's fan back in the day. I was like, I was shitting on you back in 2012. He just busted out laughing. And he was like, "I, I don't care about this." Just I was some like, random 14 year old dude exactly. in Arkansas. <laughs> exactly. And then it happens to be my teammate. Tommy and I were in Vegas. And mm-hmm. I was honestly blown away. It was my first time watching him in, in person this year. I was honestly blown away at the energy level, at his conditioning level. And this guy's, you know, obviously played 21, 20, 21 now, but he's played 20 previous regular seasons, plus yep. all of the playoffs, plus the USA basketball stuff. He's been in all these high pressure environments. And yet somehow he's like in Vegas. I'm like, he's the most energetic player. Like it matters yep. more to him yep. than anything. And and it's just like the competitive stamina doesn't turn off with him. And the fact that he's in such great shape, like being around him every day, you know, people talk about like, oh, I learned a lot from so-and-so, plump for plans for so-and-so, but just observing him, watching him, what are like your takeaways Oh, the main one is obviously just being a pro. Um, First in the gym, the last to leave, you know, his body of work, literally on his body. You know, not many people can play this long. I mean, honestly, nobody's done it at this high of a level. And, you know, he, I mean, he basically lays out the blueprint for you. You just got to pay attention and, and apply that to yourself. Um, but it's just every day. It's, it's, I ask him, I forgot where we were coming back from. Maybe the Detroit, uh, we had like a four game road trip. We we're coming back from Detroit and we were on the plane. And I was like, what's, what's tomorrow look like for you? And Cause I asked this man a million questions anyway. I was just like, what's, what's tomorrow look like for you? Cause we got back probably 132. He was like, ah, oh, I'll get up. I don't know. He didn't even say a time. He's like, I'll do some treatment at 10. Uh, and then I'll probably get a massage at 11, eat. And he just kept going on about treatment stuff. And he was like, I'm going to go lay in my whatever that chamber is he <laughs> the has. chamber. <laughs> yeah. And I was just like, so your day is treatment. And he was like, yeah, pretty much. I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> like, it's, there's the blueprint. Like, he he's a professional and takes care of himself. Do you feel like you've at least started to figure that or have figured out that part of it for your own sort of day-to-day in-season existence? For sure. Uh, you know, where I come from, you know, I never had I never had a basketball trainer. I never had a trainer. I never had anything. Like, I did everything myself. Like, and I didn't know how important recovery was. Like, nobody ever taught me that stuff. So this, like, all this stuff was kind of new for me. And... You know, like I said, I ask him a million questions. So this isn't the first time I've asked him about, you know, stuff that he does for his body. But yeah, like we've had conversation about it and 
I definitely anything that he says that he does, uh, shit, why not try it? Like, uh, I remember in the playoffs, uh, my legs were dead. And I was just like, he was talking about the uh, uh, the Norma Tech and then the STEM at the same time. And so I went home, tried it. Legs felt great the next day. And I was like, all right, cool. I'm doing this. Do you, uh, do you cold tub? Do you cold punch? Yeah. Okay, you do. All right. That's the secret. That's the secret to everything, I think. So obviously you heard Austin Reeves did not like LeBron. And he got caught because Instagram found his tweet and posted it. Somebody did. And he got nervous. So he went over to LeBron and told LeBron that he did not like his game. But my thing is, what does being a Kobe fan have to do with not liking LeBron James? I think most people probably think that you could be both fans of both, right? But on the other hand, those who like Kobe for his characteristics do not like LeBron because of the lack of those characteristics. Like how Kobe has that burning desire. Kobe is stern. Kobe does not joke around. Kobe is dead serious about the game. Right? Kobe has a, a concrete will. Dominant willpower. Um, he's a blazing force of energy. Right? He shoots first, asks questions. He's always on the attack. Right? LeBron is sometimes a little passive aggressive okay sometimes he doesn't have the mental toughness i'm talking about his career like especially even those those early years he did not have the mental toughness so he suffered a lot of losses that he could have could have won um all right he did not also have that dominant will all right and we know the times he gets nervous, right? We, I don't think we've ever seen Kobe nervous. So with that being said, does this guy still hate LeBron's game? Is that the question? Because the last time I checked, being drafted to a team, all right, does not make you change what you like. Just because he's your teammate, doesn't mean that, that you're going to change what you like. And I've noticed that Austin Reeves kind of has this aggressive side of him that is reminiscent of Kobe. He likes to take those shots to close out the game when LeBron doesn't want to do it. Right? He likes to go at people. His game is more similar to, Le to Kobe than it is to LeBron. So I'm wondering if he's there on the bench and watching how LeBron operates and it's kind of slightly pissed off. I'm just, I'm just wondering, I don't know, All right? Because it looks like he's just saying this thing about Kobe, just trying to cover it up. If he was on another team, I'm sure he would not have mentioned this at any point unless maybe he met LeBron, but you know, I mean, just look at his game. His game is more similar to Kobe than it is to LeBron. So, but this was just interesting to me and such a coincidence. But um, until next time.